Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank him for what he's doing. Thank him for that great love for your life. Thank him for that great love for your children. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. Let's give that honor to him. Hosanna to our God. O glory to the King. Hosanna to our God. O glory to the King. Hosanna to our God. O glory to the King. Hosanna to our God. O glory to the King. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. Thank him. Thank him for the love. Thank him for the grace. Thank him for the spirit of God. Thank him. Thank him. Jehovah God, we thank you. Jehovah God, we worship you. Jehovah God, we exhort you. Jehovah God, we magnify your name. Magnify the name of our God. Thank Jesus for what Jesus is doing in your life, in your own. Thank Jesus for what Jesus is doing in your family. Thank Jesus for what Jesus Christ is doing in your life today. Thank him. Give that praise to him. Let the praise be unto God. Let the honor be unto his name. For he has done great things for us. He has done great things in our life. He has done great things today. Thank him. He has done great things. He has done great things. done for you. Thank him for great things that he's doing in your life. Lift your voice and thank him. Lift your voice and appreciate him. 
Lord, let's lift our voice in praise to God Almighty. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's give that praise to him. Father, we thank you, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Jesus, wherever you are, let the name of Jesus Christ be praised. Let's give that honor to whom that, that honor belongs to. Let's give that glory to him. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's give him praise. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we praise you. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing, O oh God. Just thank him. Just give the Lord the praise. Sabbat him. Worship him. Exalt Jesus wherever you are. Exalt the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Exalt omnipotent God. Exalt him. Father, we thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. We appreciate you, Jesus. We appreciate you for your love. We appreciate you for your grace. We appreciate you for your strength and power. We appreciate you just giving praise. Appreciate him. Appreciate him of his love. Appreciate him of his goodness. Appreciate him of his kindness. Appreciate him of his favor. Let's lift our voice in praise to Jehovah God. 
Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we celebrate you. Lord, we give that honor to you. Lord, we give that praise to your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, the rock of ages. Thank you, the strength of our life. Thank you, our maker. Blessed be the name. In Jesus' name, we praise the Lord as I'm here this morning. Let your mercy prevail in every area of my life. Begin to ask for mercy of God. Pray that Lord should have mercy. Let all my iniquity be forgiven. Cleanse me from all my sins. Let's pray that Lord God of heaven to cleanse us from all our sins. All our sin against the word of God. Against the will of God. Let's begin to ask the Lord, the Lord God of heaven to forgive us all our sins, all our iniquities, all our trespasses, all our transgression against the will of God. Let's pray that Lord God of heaven to forgive us. Holy Spirit of God, forgive me all my sins. Lift your voice to him. That Lord you are God to forgive. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice to him. That you are God to forgive every sin that sin our life, every sin that sin our heart, every sin. Lift your voice and ask the Lord, Father, let all my sin be forgiven. Cleanse me from every iniquity. Wash me from all trespasses. Wash me from all transgression. Lift your voice and ask him, Father, let all my sin be forgiven. Open your heart to pray that Lord God of heaven to forgive every sin in your heart, in your life. Lift your voice to pray that Lord Jehovah God to forgive every sin that sin our life. Somebody lift your voice to God that Lord Jehovah God to forgive all our sins. Jehovah God. Forgive me all my sins, O oh God. Let's lift our voice to Him. The Lord Jehovah God to forgive every sin that may be in our life. Lift your voice to pray. The Lord God of heaven to forgive every sin. Cleanse me from my iniquity, O oh God. Wash me from my iniquity, O oh God. Wash me from my trespasses, O oh God. Lift your voice to pray. The Lord Jehovah God to forgive every sin. The Lord you are going to cleanse us from all our iniquity, from all our trespasses, from all our transgression. Wash us, O oh God, purify our heart, purify our life. Ask the Lord to purify you, ask the Lord to sanctify you in the name of Jesus. As you look unto Him, tell the Lord to purify you, tell the Lord to sanctify you. In the name of Jesus, purify me, O oh God. Purify my heart. Purify my life. Let's pray for that purification. The Lord you are going to purify us, to sanctify us. Lift your voice to pray. Jehovah God, purify me. Sanctify me this morning. In the name of Jesus, purify my heart for you. Pray. The Lord God of heaven to purify our heart for him. Pray, Lord of heaven, purify my heart for you, God. Somebody lift a voice to God. The Lord God of heaven to purify our heart for him. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, purify my heart for you, O God. Purify my thought. Purify my will. In the name of Jesus, as the Lord to purify your heart. For the Lord, pray the Lord God of heaven to purify your heart for Jehovah God. Pray, Father, purify my heart in the name of Jesus. Change my heart towards you. Change my heart towards you. Pray the Lord Jehovah God to change your heart towards him in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Repasu to Kayaba. Open your heart to him. Father, change my heart 
towards you, God. In the name of Jesus, pray, pray and talk to him. Father, change my heart towards you. In the name of Jesus, let's pray, let's talk to God. The Lord God of heaven to change our heart towards the Lord, towards Jehovah God. Lift your voice to him. Jehovah God, change my heart towards you. In the name of Jesus, pray and ask him. The Lord God of heaven to change our heart towards him. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Pray and take talk to God. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah God, change my heart towards you. In the name of Jesus, let's lift our voice to him. The Lord God of heaven to change our heart towards him. In the name of Jesus, towards his will. In the name of Jesus, Towards his will, let's lift our voice to him. Father, change our heart towards you, o God. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Change my heart, change my life for you, o God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's say, Lord, as I come to you, Holy Spirit, let me experience the touch of heaven this morning. It's a total different thing. When we experience the touch of heaven, Let's pray, Lord, as we come to you, Lord, let us experience the touch of heaven. The touch of heaven that will break the yoke. The touch of heaven that will lead us to a place of liberty. Let's pray, Father, let me experience the touch of heaven. I want to begin to lift your voice and pray to God. Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let me experience the touch of heaven, the touch of heaven that will break the yoke, the touch of heaven that will lead me to my place of liberty. That means you are telling God to experience the power of him. Let's pray, Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven today, the touch of heaven that will lead me to my place of liberty, the touch of heaven that will shake the unshakable a way out of my life. Let's begin to pray that Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life. Let's begin to cry before the Lord in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to him. Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life in the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life. Open your heart to him. Jesus, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life. Right now, somebody pray. Pray and talk to him in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life. Somebody pray. As the Lord, tell Jesus that you want to experience the touch of heaven in your life right now, in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Pray and talk to him. Father, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life. Somebody lift your voice to him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life, in my home, in my family. Pray that your life should experience the thought of heaven that will break the yoke, that will lead you to a place of liberty. Somebody pray. Talk to God. Lift your voice to Jesus. The Lord of heaven, let me experience the thought of heaven in the name of Jesus. The thought of heaven that will shake away the unshakable, that will remove the unremovable of my life. The thought, the thought of heaven in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. My Father, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life right now. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice to end. Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life. Somebody pray. Talk to him. Jehovah God, let me experience the touch of heaven in my home, in my family. In the name of Jesus. I don't know that area that you want to experience it. 
in that they want to experience the touch of heaven in the name of Jesus. You want to experience the touch of heaven in the name of Jesus. That you want to experience the supernatural power of God in that that will break that yoke in your life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, this morning let me experience the touch of heaven in my life, in my home, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that prayer. That Lord, you want to experience the power of God. That's what you are saying. The touch of heaven. The supernatural power of God. The supernatural power of God that will lead you to a place of liberty in life. In the name of Jesus, somebody prayed. Tell the Lord, Father, let me experience the touch of heaven in my life right now. Let me experience the touch of heaven in my home right now. In the life of my children right now. In my marriage right now, in the name of Jesus, let there be a touch of heaven that breaks the yoke. Let there be a touch of heaven that leads me to my place of liberty. Pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, let me experience the touch of your power. 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 The touch of your glory. The touch of your name. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray that you want to experience the touch of God's power. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God, my Lord and my King. In the name of Jesus, let your people experience it. The touch of God's power, the touch of God's power. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray, say, Daddy, let the battle of my life let every struggle, let every shame be over today. Give me rest. I want to begin to lift your voice. That shame, your disappointment be over today. Let's pray that Lord God of heaven to give you rest. Lord, give me rest. Pray, God of heaven, let my shame be over today. Jehovah God, give me rest. Pray that Lord God of heaven to give that rest to you. Lord, give me rest in the name of Jesus. Pray, let my disappointment be over. Today, Lord, give that rest to me. You need that rest in your life. Give me rest. Lord, let my disappointment be over. Jehovah God, give me rest. Ask the Lord to give that rest to you. Lord, give me rest. Open your heart to pray. Lord, give me rest. Tell the Lord, Jehovah God, give me rest. Tell him to give rest to you. Holy Spirit of God, give me rest, O God. Give my life rest, O God. Give my home rest, O God. Give my children rest, O God. In the name of Jesus, pray the Lord God of heaven to give you rest. Tell the Lord, Father, give me rest. Ikabarus sotolima, madorima asakora baye. Father, give us rest today. Give your children rest over every battle, over every struggle, over every shame. Give me rest, O God. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God. Tell the Lord to give you rest. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Somebody say, you can't hear me. I don't know. You can't hear me. Can you hear me? Okay. If you can hear me, say amen. I don't know. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord will give us rest in Jesus' name. The rest of God will come upon our life. We can hear you. Okay. okay. Let's begin to pray for that rest of God in your life. The Lord Jehovah God to give rest to you. He told us to come to him that all the labors that I have ever laid upon them that carried loads you promised to give us rest. Rest, financial rest, health wise, that you will not struggle concerning your health, that, we not, that you will not struggle concerning your marriage, Lift your voice and cry to God, Daddy, give that rest to me. Let the battle be over. I want to begin to lift your voice to God. Lord, give me rest today. 
In the name of Jesus, I want to begin to lift a voice to God, that Lord God of heaven, to give that rest to you. The Lord God of heaven to give rest for your life. Give me rest, O God. In the name, as I cry to you, in the name of Jesus, let my life find that rest. Let my life find rest. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Let my life find rest this morning. Somebody pray to God. Let my life find rest this morning. Pray that your life should find it. Pray that your life should find rest. Open your heart to pray. Let my life find breakthrough. Let my life find that success. Let my life find that open heaven. In the name of Jesus, tell the Lord what you are looking for. That this morning, let me find it. What you are praying for, that heaven should grant unto you this morning. Pray. That your life should, that Lord Jehovah God to give your life rest. Rest on every side. Financial rest. Spiritual rest. That the struggle be over. That shame be over. That disappointment be over. Pray the Lord God of heaven to give that rest to you. Lord of heaven, give the rest to me. In the name of Jesus. Lord of heaven, give me rest, O God. God of heaven, give me rest, O God. Somebody pray that Lord God of heaven to give the rest to you. Rest for your soul. Rest for your life. Rest for your children. Rest for your family. In the name of Jesus, pray that Lord God of heaven to give rest to you. Open your heart to pray. Pray and talk to God. Give me rest, O God. Let my shame be over. Rapaso toto yamakaba, le prondo suka telema, repaso toto yagabo. In Jesus' name, we pray. See, I'm the only one. Oh, okay. You can check, check check the volume of your phone if you are the only one that you cannot hear me. Check the volume after you turn it on. Just you know, check the volume and increase the volume. I think maybe you have not yet increased the volume of your phone or whatever thing you're using. So you can just, you know, increase uh, the volume. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and talk to God. The Bible told us in Psalm 17, verse 13, He said, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Arise, O Lord, disappoint the camps of enemies. Cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is their sword. What the, 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 their sword is wicked. And the wickedness. I want to open your heart and pray, which is their words. I want you to lift your voice and pray. That Lord Jehovah God to deliver you. Pray and talk to God. Father, deliver me. Disappoint the enemy over my life. How God disappoint them? That thing they say you cannot do, and God, you have it. Where they say you cannot be, the Lord takes you there. As the Lord, disappoint my enemies, O oh God. Lift your voice and begin to cry to God. That Lord God of heaven to disappoint your enemies. That Lord you are going to disappoint your enemies. Open your heart to pray. Father, disappoint my enemies. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Um, whatever thing, turn the, turn off, <laughs> turn off your phone and, and turn it back on again. Okay, you got it. Okay. <laughs> so, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him and cast him down. Lift your voice, disappoint their thoughts over me. That untimely that they are thinking over your life. That shame they are thinking over you. That barrenness that they want you to continue. Not your enemy should die, but also to see your goodness in the, that thing they say you cannot do. That's how God disappoints them. They say you cannot, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. And you are there carrying it. 
you are there doing it. They say you can't have a child, and God gives you God gives you He gives you a child. You say you cannot get there, you are there. You say this cannot happen in your life, and you have it like yourself. At the end, what happened to his brethren? God disappointed them. Their thought is to kill him. Their thought is to enslave him. Their thought is for him to remain a failure. But God disappointed them. Pray that the Lord should disappoint all your enemies. Lord, that's what the Bible says. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Disappoint the evil thought over your life. Disappoint this every strategies of the enemies. Every agendas of the evil one. Lift your voice and cry before the Lord. Lift your voice to God of heaven, the Lord God of heaven, to disappoint them. Mashika toli makari ba ushate. Open your heart to God. Father, disappoint them. Disappoint the enemies of Malai. Disappoint the enemies of Malai. Disappoint the enemies of Malai. Disappoint the enemies of my life. Disappoint the enemies of my life. Pray and ask the Lord that the Lord should disappoint them. Pray and ask Jehovah God that the Lord should disappoint them. Pray and call upon the Lord that the Lord should disappoint them. Pray and ask Jesus that the Lord should disappoint the enemies of your life. Those that say you can't make it, you can't go higher, that you can't have it, you can't carry your child. In the name of Jesus, let disappoint their evil thought over my life. Pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. What we'll stop the enemy for them, for not for them not to carry the assignment in your life is when you are confessing it, you are asking it for God to remove it. Hallelujah. He said, redeem the day. The days are evil. How do you do that? How do you redeem the day? Not because of your effort you put in. By telling the one that created you, I don't want this in my life. The enemy proposed for someone to you. Yes, enemy proposed for someone, oh, this is what is going to be your portion. You are the one that will reject what is not of God in your life. What is not God's agenda for you. By standing upon the word of God, open your heart and pray and talk to God. It's time arise. Remove the unremovable. It's time, oh God, move or move the out of my life. That's why you, we are praying to God. What you cannot move, He can move it. Things you cannot change, He can change it. That's why where you cannot go, He can go there for you. Open your heart to God. That will remove the unremovable of my life. Let my shame part today from me. Remove the unremovable of my life. Arise to lift me up. Arise to lift me up. Arise to fight my battle. Arise to support me. Arise in the name of Jesus. Let I want to see you. I want to see you at work. I want to see you in your power in my life. I want to see you in glory in my life. Can you lift your voice that you want to see God in action? You want to see God in his power? You want to see God in his glory? In your life to shake the unshakable? To touch the untouchable of your life. In the name of Jesus. The Lord God of heaven to remove or remove of your life. Open your heart and pray. Move in power. Father, move in glory. Father, move in power. Father, move in glory. Father, move in power. Open your heart to pray. The Lord should move in power. Concerning you. Concerning your children. Concerning your marriage. Concerning your life, ask the Lord to move in power. Father, move in glory. In the name of Jesus. Mazuko toli ma asakori ma letori ma ashatur ma asikebo. Open your heart to God. Father, move in power. Move in glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The Bible told us in Psalm 16, He said, Preserve me, O God. For indeed did I put my trust. 
So if someone trust is in God, God's duty is to preserve you. You choose not to do something else. Just let me just stay with God. Now ask the Lord, according to that prayer, Lord, preserve me. Oh Lord, my trust is in you. And also he went further. See, those that put their trust in the Lord shall not be put to shame. Your trust means, what? now you can define what is trust. Trust me when you totally, you know, you totally depend on God, when you totally follow God's will, hallelujah, hallelujah, this is applicable to Christ who prayed. Father, save from the hour and trust in God that could deliver him. Those that put their trust in God to deliver them. Where you, as you are doing it, this now, like you are putting your trust in him. Save me. Deliver me. Change my life. Touch me. That means you are putting your trust in him. And, and you cannot put your trust in him. He told us he will not put you to shame. Daddy, I commit my children into your care. That means you trust God to commit them into your, his care. I commit my job to you. You trust him to commit your job to him. Daddy, I commit my life to you. You trust him to give your life to him. Hallelujah. And now you can't just, and it's not a God that you say, oh, tossing that life around, playing with that life. Is that not my life? I don't care about it. Anything can happen to it. But does it, it will preserve it. If you commit your children to him, it will preserve their life. If you commit that your business to him, it will preserve your business. Lift your voice and talk to him. Say, Daddy, preserve me. O oh Lord, for indeed did I put my trust. Concerning that job, I trust you for it. Concerning my fruit of the womb, for me to carry my baby in life, despite what I see around me, Lord, I trust you for it. Somebody begin to talk, tell, tell the Lord what you trust him for. I trust you for my healing, O oh God. Daddy, I trust you for my deliverance from this battle. I trust you from my, I trust you to remove my shame. Can you lift your voice and begin to tell him what you trust him for? Daddy, I trust you. I trust you. Father, I trust you. Open your heart to pray and tell him that you trust him. Father, he said, preserve me. I trust you to manifest your power. It can change unchangeable. Father, you can change unchangeable. You can change unchangeable. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Listen, that's why we need intervention of God. What is intervention of God? The intervention of God will change. What the hopeless situation where everything, there's nothing you can change anymore. The intervention of God will change the hopeless situation of life. We change it. The intervention of God will change the hopeless situation of life where things cannot be changed anymore. That's intervention of God. We change it. Intervention of God will revive things that is dead. When things is dead, they go, when God intervenes, I don't know what they have said to you. Listen, when God steps in, he can change it. There's nothing that God cannot do. He told us. In the situation where say no, that you see with your own eyes, that through yourself, you that you are praying, that ah, no man can do this except God. God, if he's willing, when he step in, he will change it. You know, the other thing, other aspect of God's willing, praise the Lord. Is what the pastors are talking about. When God, see, when God is, is true, when God wants to do anything, we do it. Hallelujah. Have you know sometimes you pray and God don't do it the way you want to? Hallelujah. Yes. Say, so, well, why do I need to pray? Yeah, you need to pray. Because you don't know what God wants to do for you. I mean, when God don't want to do something for your life, maybe he has something better. That's what I'm saying to you. Maybe he has something better. When God don't want to do anything for you that you want, that means he has something 
better than that what you are asking or is preparing ways for you. So when you pray sometimes and you don't get it, don't worry, don't give up. You don't know what God is doing behind the scene. Many will give up. You surrender. You don't know what God is doing. You don't know what God sees. Why is not doing that very thing for you? He sees ahead of you. He knows better than us. We do pray. Even though we don't know how to pray, it's Holy Spirit that pray through us. Sometimes you make your request to God and you ask, oh, I'm, oh God, disappoint me. Uh, God, listen, God sees something. Why is not doing that thing for you? But one thing I know, God answers all prayers. I can see that. God answered all prayers. It will be a liar that he will not answer your prayers. But you probably don't do the way you want to, how you want it, what you request for. If I be doing better for you, but one thing I can testify, that God answers prayer. I pray all your prayers today, heaven will answer, heaven will grant unto you, heaven will grant unto you the desires of your heart for breakthrough, the desires of your heart for healing, the desires of your heart for open doors, in the name of Jesus, heaven will grant unto you, as you call, your voice will go to him. As you call, your voice will go to him. In the name of Jesus, God will hear you. God will hear you. God will hear you. As you pray, I say God will hear. He will hear your cry today. God will hear your cry today. God will hear your cry today. Over every desire of your heart, God will hear your cry today. And open those doors for you. God will hear your cry today. In the name of Jesus, I pray God will hear your cry today. In the name of Jesus, your cry will go to him. In the name of Jesus, your cry will go before the Lord and open those doors for you. And open those doors for your life. In the name of Jesus, and open those doors of healing, of deliverance for you. In the name of Jesus, and grant you that desires of your heart. God will open those doors for you and shake the unshakable of your life and remove or removable of your life in the name of Jesus. God will open those doors for you. The Lord will hear that your prayers today. In the name of Jesus. How do you know God answers prayers? When you see the manifestation of your request. How did I know God answers prayer? If anyone wants to say, the Bible talks about it, which is very good. Excellent. It's true. But the, your life also is a, your life also has to be evidence of it. Yes, that's what God wants us to do. The Bible talks about it, but God also wants to confirm it in your life. The Bible talks about God's answer is prayer, but your life wants also want to confirm. God wants to confirm it in your life that I answer it prayer. That He hears the voice of His children when they call. Yes, Bible talks about it. God answers prayers. Also, you want your own life, your own life, not only the life of Peter, not only the life of Paul, not only the life of Samuel or Anna or David, that you can say, oh, God answers prayer, but your own life to be an evidence, to be a, to confirm, to be a confirmer of that God's grace that it answers prayer in every desires of your heart. May you see an answer in the name of Jesus. Let your answer come. Your answer that you have been waiting for in the name of Jesus. Your answer that you have been waiting for in the name of Jesus. Your answer that you have been waiting for. That answer that you have been waiting for. That answer that your life has been waiting for. That, you are, that answer you want to see. The answer that you want to be. The answer you want to receive. Today let it manifest. No more delay, no more deny, no more delay, no more deny in the name of Jesus. No more delay, no more deny in Jesus' name. We pray. Also, I believe God sent his angels to clear the way. But also, you know, in a new dispensation, which Christ has redeemed us, he has a name that can clear the way too. 
I'm not saying that God has stopped using his angel to function. He's still using, the Bible testify that God has, is still using the angels. That's what Paul told us that will be that we should be open hand to everyone. That sometimes you probably, you know, when you are doing good to somebody, you are probably doing to angels. You don't know. It's in the New Testament. So, but God is still sending his angels to, you know, to save, to deliver for divine intervention in life, in our life. But also, we have a name that can also clear the way of your breakthrough. How did I know that? The Bible told me that at the mention of Jesus' name, every name needs to bow. Every territorial spirit. So, your, the name of Jesus Christ also can be a bomber to clear the way for you. He said, those in heaven, those on earth, and those under, under, under. And who, who are those under? Those in heaven. There's people in heaven, which is principalities and power. Okay. Now, let's go for that. On We on earth. And those under, under, there are some people under, which is, that's the spirit of the soul of the dead. Those that under, the spirit of the soul of the dead. And sometimes the spirit of the souls of the dead can also, have, I've seen somebody that confessed that what they use, they use the spirit of the soul of people like witchcraft to operate. Hallelujah. Those in heaven, which is principalities and power, spiritual wickedness in high places. Those on, on earth, the one that you are dealing with, the one that you see physically with your eyes, friends that don't want your life to move forward, and those under the spirit, the souls of the dead that is operating. That's why sometimes when you dream, you still see the person is passed on, is still fighting you. Hallelujah. But this woman has passed on many years ago. I don't know. This woman has gone. This woman is no more. Why am I still seeing? He's still attacking my life. I pray the name of Jesus Christ can clear the way for you. I pray that name will clear the way for you. In the name of Jesus. I pray that the name of Jesus Christ Le sondo brende ke prando su kateyabo. In the name of Usha Kayaba. The name of Jesus Christ, we clear the way for you. We clear the way for you. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus Christ, we clear the way for you. In any areas of life, that enemy is standing. Kaili Masaida. At that mention of that name, Mayali Ama Usha Kayaba. At that mention of that name, Makoni Makusate. At that mention of that name, every you break now, break now, break now, break now, break now, break now. In Jesus' name, we pray. One assignment the Lord told me, not two, just one, which I believe must happen to everyone at all time when you come to this prayer, is to receive your deliverance. One thing He told me. That I, I can see clearly, not too much. Just one word. One word. Just one one word. Not too much. Not oh, this and that. Just one assignment. That people are in bondage and let them receive their deliverance. So anytime you come, that I'm here, him must act, do what he wants to do. I can't do it. Me, no. I, I don't do deliverance. There's no way I can do it. No man can do deliverance. No man himself can do any deliverance. Who, who are you? No man. It's God. is one that delivers. It's one that walk, God is walking, not man. A man is a vessel that he walks through. You know, sometimes we put ourselves in the position that we are the one to do it. I will heal you. What kind of healing? I can't heal. I myself need healing. Hallelujah. I can't heal nobody. God is the healer himself. I can deliver. Yes. So that's why you don't look up to me for anything. Look unto Jesus. I'm just a vessel that, okay. You know, remember, God is a spirit. And also, when you want, he walks through a man to carry his assignment, you know, on this realm, on this physical realm that we are on this earth. He used a man to carry his assignment. That's why he used, he called people 
I want to do something. I want to heal somebody. I want, but I want to do it through man. So he has to do it through man. God has to do, you know, God has to do, he has owed himself by his word that nothing will happen on earth. That's why you, must, you can chase the devil away because it's illegal. They don't have his body. To one that is legal to live rightly on this earth must have a body. That's why the devil possess people. He possess this one. He possess this one. He possess this one because for you to live on this earth that we are, on this earth, you must have a body. You have to. That's the law. That's the law for it. That's the law. That was it. If God has given man dominion to rule. Anyone, if he sees the spirit walking, it's illegal. Any spirit walking in the street is not supposed to walk. He has to have a body. That's why God came himself. He has a body. When God wants to show up with Abraham, he has a body. Angels, they show up like a body. You don't know that? Go and look at the Bible. God showed the, the person that uh, um, Joseph, uh, Jacob fought. He has a body. He fought him physically. He has a body. He's God. He fought him. He said, what is your name? He must have a body. Hallelujah. So any spirit that want to operate, that's why they possess everything. They possess people for them to carry the assignment. Every assignment of the devil, the Lord will break that yoke. Where am I going? So God must go walking through man to carry his own assignment. So it's the same way Satan is walking through man to carry his evil assignment. Go and you know, be an enemy to this person. Be enemy to this person. Be enemy to this person. Go and block the way of this person. The same thing. You learn that from God. That also, I'm here and God must fulfill what you have said. Now, tell the Lord, Lord, let that word of that deliverance, if it's true, manifest in my life. You can say that to him. Don't worry. Let's tell the Lord, say, Lord, if it's true, that word of that deliverance, let it manifest to me. Say it to God. Say it to God. Say, Father, this man said that uh, the word of deliverance, that anyone that must be delivered, you say you want to deliver. If that word, if it's your word for real, let me receive my deliverance. Remember, it's not my word. I say, he told me. Now I'm telling you. I'm telling you what he told me. I'm deliver what. So now it's now he choose to disappoint me or he prove himself. Hallelujah. Now, it's, it's a two-way, whether he disappoint me or he prove himself. Tell him. Just tell him. Just tell him about it. Say, Lord, tell him where you need that deliverance. Tell him where you, if you need it in life of your children, say, Lord, this pastor or this man, anyone you want to choose, <laughs> so, tell him, let's see, let's put him to work. Hallelujah. Tell him that you say you want to deliver people. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here this morning. That's why I'm here concerning my life. Tell him, that's why I'm here concerning my children. I'm here because he told me that you said that you want to deliver. Let me experience that deliverance power. Let me experience it. I want to see it. And if it is true, I want to see it. If that word is true, let me experience that deliverance. Let there be confirmation of that word in my life. Tell him, tell him, let that be confirmation of that word in my life. My Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. I don't know whether you believe. My Father, my God, I know that you are not a man to lie. I know when a man you are needed, I know you show up. There is no time that you are needed. And they cannot find you, which I believe. Your people have declared your word to you. It's a challenge now. You glorify yourself. The glory is yours, is not mine. The glory is yours, is not mine. I have nothing to do with it. Now glorify yourself. Let whatever they have declared in mercy. 
in kindness, in your favor, be granted unto them. Even though if the enemy have choose otherwise, but because of your name, let your name be, be glorified. Confirm the word of your servant, O God, because you perform the counsel of your messenger, that he perform your word, and let your name in be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we shout seven hallelujah? Can we shout seven hallelujah? Hallelujah. 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 I don't know whether you believe it. Just expect it. Let's see. Yes. Is it concern? Is it taste and see? That the Lord is good. He told you to taste it. So I've tasted this morning. I believe what you follow is miracle will follow. Let's go in this blessing of God and return with a great testimony. Father, we cover this water by the blood of Jesus Christ. I said through this water, let there be healing, O God. Let there be deliverance. As your people are going, go with them. Let your mercy rest on them. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace together. With the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and His faithfulness, Holy Spirit, be with us now and for more. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. If you are today, I don't know why today is your bed. Let grace rest on you. Let favor rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Mercy follow. Mercy follow. Mercy follow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you. See you later on.